These protocols will help any researcher incorporate the use of Drosophila cell lines to drive or complement their research agenda. Most, if not all, Drosophila cell cultures revive, proliferate, and cryopreserve well when handled according to these guidelines. After wiping down the work surface of a laminar flow hood with 70% ethanol, dispense 5 milliliters of the appropriate medium into a 25 centimeter squared tea flask. Wipe the container of frozen cell line with 70% ethanol and carefully loosen and unseal the lid. Using a Pasteur pipette, Transfer 1 milliliter of room temperature medium from the flask to the cryovial and gently mix to thaw the frozen cells, taking care that the cell suspension does not overflow. Transfer the entire volume of the thawed cell suspension to the flask and rinse the cryovial with fresh medium. Allow the cells to settle to the bottom of the flask for at least 2 hours in a 25 degree Celsius incubator. Do not return frozen cells that have been packaged for travel back into minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer for a prolonged period or into liquid nitrogen. Instead, thaw the cells ASAP. After confirming attachment under a light microscope, gently replace the supernatant with 5 milliliters of fresh medium before returning the flask to the incubator. Alternatively, after thawing, transfer the cell suspension into a 15 milliliter conical tube for centrifugation and resuspend the pellet in 5 milliliters of fresh medium before seeding into a T25 flask as just demonstrated.